it's quite delicious. Wow. Oh, that's so it's attack. May 18th. It's Ruinu, and you, how, you are Joe Dillinger? That's correct. How did you get the name Dillinger, sir? Well, essentially, uh, essentially uh, it was through a friend of mine who gave me that nickname. And uh, who was that? Uh, a good friend of mine back in the day. Uh, his name was Alejandro. Well, his Alejandro, he's still alive. You know, thank God. But he uh, gave me that nickname because I, I was, I'm a big fan of this band called Dillinger Escape Plan. And, uh, he just, what, yeah, what, what? Dillinger Escape Plan? Dillinger yeah. Escape Plan. I'm a big fan of that band. And, uh, Are and they this, criminals? <laughs> In a sense, they are. Uh, Listen to their music. Because you know Dillinger has... Oh, yeah, John Dillinger, yes. Yeah, yeah. He's an amazing man. <laughs> what, what, what's so amazing about him? Nothing much. He runs a lot of things. Well, today <laughs> is the day... Uh, tell me if you think this guy's uh, one of those guys. It's the day that Tiger Woods won the Byron Nelson Golf Classic. Now, I just heard Tiger Woods is going to have to step down because That's someone's right. filling his shoes. That's right. Do you know who it is? Not that I don't know who it is. The governor. Really? I heard he's going to be worse than Tiger Woods. That's <laughs> what I heard when his list comes out. I'm oh, a baby. Oh, my God. Just get ready for it. Right, you heard it here. I'm sorry, Arnold, but you know. <laughs> you know, I mean, I know someone that went out with him like a long time ago. Was she, it the illegitimate baby child? No, no, no. <laughs> she went out with him like, like even before Maria. And she told me, oh, that poor Maria. When he got married, she was like, Oh, my, everyone has an Arnold story. I mean, I don't, but... Not, not, uh, pers not personally. Not yet, anyway, you know? <laughs> but, like, uh, I just heard Tiger Woods is going to have to step down. He's going to lose his crown because uh, Arnold's backing down. <laughs> he came back. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he, he, back. He, he promised Yeah, it. he did. He, he did. All right, today um, is the day that... Um, I don't know if you remember this, but... Do you remember the butterfly garden in the in the museum of um, which museum was it? You remember that? Do you remember yeah. that butterfly museum? I uh, you know what? I thought it was that museum, and today is International Museum Day. But it says it was the butterfly um, garden at the Cleveland Metro Parks Zoo. It opened on May 18th. It must have been that same butterfly exhibit. Yeah, did you see birthday. it? Yeah. I, I saw it. Did you ever see it? I've never saw that, actually. I did. It was so cool. You walk in that tent, you saw the butterflies. <laughs> now, where is the weather for butterflies? It's like May 18th. I, just I remember first. last year when we started Ruin New Year, it was so hot that day. It felt like it felt like a real spring. Yeah. No. I hate that groundhog. I will never believe in that groundhog ever again till I die. I really believed in that groundhog this year. You're on notice, Did groundhog. You, I, I will never believe in Groundhog Day for the rest of my life, ever, 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 ever. When you get your forecast from a furry animal. Now today, you know, you know. Here's another thing. Napoleon Bonaparte on this day, May 18th, he was proclaimed the Emperor of France. So isn't it ironic that the Frenchman's at Rikers Island today? Oh, that poor Frenchman. Oh, my God. He's in, that's really messed up. I don't even want to say effed up because that's exactly what got him there, right? That's pretty much it. Oh, my God. That, that Frenchman is in trouble. Oh, my goodness. Ooh, la, la. That is so bad, man. You're going to make a bad get out of him. Oh, I, I kind of... In one way, I just wish they'd send him home and just take like five hundred million dollars from him and give it to the girl and like let him. Yeah. But then again, you know, I just don't know. You know, he's at Rikers Island, that guy. <laughs> that's, he was that's... from a three thousand dollar a night room to, <laughs> to Rikers, Rikers Island. Island. Yeah. He's just yeah. one of he's us. Sharing now. a roommate. Yeah, he's locked out. No, he's on suicide watch. Oh, yeah. suicide watch. That's how you get your own room, right? Yeah. Suicide watch. Well, he would get his own room anyway. Yeah. I can't oh. imagine that. Uh, Oh, anyway, anyway, it's Tina Fey's birthday today. Oh, Tina Fey. She has won the heart of everybody. I love Tina Fey. I don't know anyone that doesn't love Tina Fey. She's amazing. She's everybody beautiful. Everybody loves Tina everything. Fey. She is like, she, she should move Sarah Palin over, and Tina Fey <laughs> should run for president. It's I true. think she'd win. She would. Wouldn't it be funny if Sarah Palin started doing the Tina Fey? <laughs> I know. I could see it. Now, She's not smart enough. Uh, well, you know, <laughs> she, could, she could do something. She could try. But... It's also Pope John Paul II, the Polish Pope's birthday. JP! Yeah, it's his uh, birthday today. And um, Reggie Jackson's birthday oh, today. Oh, Reggie Jackson. You remember him? Of course. You, you do? I'm a Yankees fan. All right. I was born in the Bronx. Yeah, me too. Yeah, what hospital? Castle Oh, Jacoby Medical Center. Really? That's right. Jacoby, isn't that like Jacoby and Meyer? Yes, yeah, right? almost. Like, that's where all the lawsuits come from. Yeah, right? I'm sure they do, right? That's why I share the name. I was in Lebanon <laughs> Hospital, actually. Oh, yeah. 
But, um, and, um, you know, we like to have angels in the room on this show, and um, a beloved angel is in the room with us right now. Do you remember Samantha Stevens? I do not. Be sorry. Witch? You don't remember Be Witch? I Liz watched Montgomery. Yes, very good. We have very smart people in this audience. Yeah, today. smarter than me. Yeah. Uh, so Elizabeth that? Montgomery passed away on May 18th, so oh, no. we, we, she, no, we yeah, love her being an angel in the room today. So, Samantha, please do some magic and keep the internet working like it is right now. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Bewitched is like one of the best shows in the world. Also, Lawrence Welk is an angel in the room today. Oh, my gosh. Did you ever hear him? No. I <laughs> think so. Pop oh, my God. And me don't go together. Lawrence <laughs> Welk. Is, he probably was pop culture. He did start Bubbles. Very good over there. Yes. Um, let's see if you know this person. Um, this is kind of weird. John Pope the One. The first John won the Pope. He died on this day. So how OG. interesting is that? He he died in the year 526. And um and then it was John Pope Paul's the second his birthday today. So that's kind of like, you know, one died on this day and one has a birthday on this day. So we're really poked out today. I think it's like any more names too. It was, you know, John, John Paul. Paul Pope, Paul, is Paul, it like Paul John? John? Ringo, it's ridiculous. And Ringo. Yeah, is there a Pope named Ringo? They should be. There's a Pope, maybe <laughs> Tina Fey, and the Pope Buck. Uh, well, you know, who knows? Alexander the Great also passed away on this day, so yes. it's an emperor type day. And um, and then it's also, you know whose birthday is today? He could be the Pope, Jacob Javits. Oh, oh Jacob Javits. He has Javits. a big, giant place named after him. Have yeah. you been to the Javits? Yes, side? I have. What do you go for? I've seen the auto show there many, many times. Yeah. That's pretty much where I went to see. That's really yeah. cool. I love the show. auto shows back in the day. Not nowadays. I used to go, you know how back in the day I am? I used to go to the auto show at the Coliseum. Oh, yeah? Yeah. See, now that's like Coliseum. Whole Foods and oh, um, it's a whole bunch of other stuff. It's not even the Coliseum anymore. Oh, yeah. Do you know where that is? No, I don't. Do you know where Columbus Circle is? Yeah, I don't know. That used to be like oh, where they had the good. auto show. Oh, wow. Yeah. Does anyone else know that, or just me? Uh huh. Uh huh. Because I know Lawrence well. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> yeah. And um, does anybody know who Robert Harris was? Yeah, I know that. You do? Know that he was the werewolf of London. He died on this day, so we got a werewolf with us too. I love it. I love it. There you go. It's also the day in history that David Frost interviewed Paul McCartney. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna relive that enactment today on Ruin Who on our one year anniversary at Otto's Shrunken Head. We love Otto's and Judy Carn. Anyone remember Judy Carn? She was an English person from a really funny show called Laughing. Oh, yeah. Does anyone know Laughing? I know that's like yeah. pop culture. You probably yeah. never heard of that. Oh, yeah. Well, Judy Carr, God bless her soul, was arrested at JFK Airport on this day um, on an 11 year old drug warrant. Can you imagine that? <laughs> Poor lady. And you know, you know what I read in the paper today, walking my dog, that police now no longer need a warrant if they smell weed in your apartment, they are allowed to break down the door because they say that you are trying to get rid of the weed that they are smelling in the hall. What? That's I, wrong. Yeah. So on that, I salute Judy Card and I hope she's fine. And um, why would you do that? Can you believe that? Can you believe that? You can't do nothing anymore. It's still America, and we love America. Just you know. Leave us alone. We pay our taxes. I know. It's not hurting anybody. All right. And we, you know, we just reflect our own political views on this show. So, like, you know, whatever. Who likes Bloomberg? We're going to be right back. <laughs> yes, we will be back. We'll be back. Oh, with Arnold. Yes. What I hear what they have to say.